All right, we're connected. I just need to get my lines on tied, and, and then we're underway over to the portage and see what we can find. Now it's just a matter of what kind of a landing we have when we get over there. I decided not to go fishing over there because the wind is still up. So it's not the best weather to try to be floating around over there. So I'll just uh, hike over to the lake, take a look, take some pictures maybe. Uh, it might be something, you know, I want to come back to in the future. So it doesn't hurt to take a look. Shouldn't be very long, far down in this uh, little arm where we should find the uh, portage. But how much it's used is anybody's guess. But I'm sure some people use it. So we'll take a look. I think I see it. There might be a log or something there to get out on. I can't tell from here, but big tree down there must have come down in the wind. Well, there's a sign, so maybe there's even a dock, who knows? Or is that a wood duck box? I can't tell. No, it's a sign. Yeah, it's even marked. Uh, there's no dock. Hopefully it'll be easier enough to get out there. We'll see. It's definitely been used. The question is, how do I get out here? Looks like it's pretty muddy. Chase the duck up. All right, let's not go in too close. Where do I go in here? It looks like maybe over there. Well, I'm definitely going to get muddy feet. That's for sure. All right. Put the paddle in here. Set down. It's always a delicate thing to do. I got muddy shoes, but we'll have to live with it. All right, let's see if we can get out of here. We're afloat, and it worked without getting feet wet. Muddy, yes, but not wet. All right, now we'll strap this on. Well, it turned out I couldn't have fished there anyway because uh, you can't take you can't take a non park service boat in there they don't want little alien species to show up so so i couldn't have gone in there to fish anyway but at least we got a chance to take a look see i looked for moose scanned it three or four times no moose no swans either so i don't know where the swans went maybe we'll see them later they didn't come back here that's for sure uh, it was a nice little short hike. Fun to see a, a lake that people don't get on very often. There were some nice spots to pull in with the boat or to camp. Obviously, you can't get the boat in there, but uh, it was nice. There was a couple of big open rock areas that would have been good for a campsite. I was surprised I didn't see a canoe there. Maybe it was there, but I just didn't look around enough. Sometimes they don't put it right at the landing. We'll head back to the boat, bundle up things, and be on our way. One thing that was amazing this morning that surprised me is that my painter for the kayak was cut completely through, and I don't, I don't understand that. I never saw any fray in the line. It was almost like it was cut by the beaver, but I can't see that happening. So I don't know. It was cut, so I had to retie the knot and re. Uh, attach it. It's a mystery. I thought at first it might have been too long and got into the motor, but couldn't see that either. It was too, it wasn't tied that long. And usually I don't. The only time I think I made that mistake was uh, the first day. I didn't tie the painter and uh, it dragged behind the boat. It's possible I could have cut it then, I suppose. But it was so close to the kayak that I find that unlikely. Anyway, there's our little ship safely at anchor. A little noisy uh, with the waves on the boat last night because it's a metal boat so it, waves tend to slap against the hull. But I slept okay anyway. I'm still sleeping kind of fitfully because of pain in my hips 
where that you know I've always had little trouble with that but it seems like it's getting worse getting older I guess that's it I'll go over here at an angle a little bit and try to get a picture of the color behind the boat leaves are starting to turn you can see that right windshield is up flipped over the top so I can see better when I'm underway I don't put it down unless it's raining or particularly cold now let's see if we can get the boat turned around here so I can the boats coming to me that's good Wind has really come up. Get this off the boat so we don't dunk the camera and all that stuff. Key is to tension that bow and get my hand behind it. <clears throat> all right. Okay, let's get this going. Start tracking. I may have to put my gloves back on. There's a lot of force. Okay, let me get my vest on. I may have to put on my gloves here because it's pulling. The wind is kind of yanking around pretty hard here. So I don't want to get my hands caught in something. So we'll be a little more safety conscious as we pull this anchor. In. And hopefully it'll come up reasonably clean covered with weeds around here so it may not be the best but we'll see fortunately I don't have that much road out You're drifting downwind pretty fast trying to slow that down a little bit it's a workout yeah, all right, we're moving in again. There's quite a bit of breeze today. I'm trying to follow my old track out as best I can. Slow it down a little bit. It's probably a little too fast. Could be obstructions around here. Do about three, three miles an hour is what I'm shooting for. I don't know if the track is working here. Got to keep pushing against this wind. It just blows me right sideways. I think I got some weeds around the prop. We'll get by this rock and then we'll clear those weeds. A lot of lily pads in here. I'm sure I'm picking up a few. Probably picked up quite a few back there. All right, let's go ahead. And... Should have cleared them off, but we'll see. Let's see, I don't know if I started this thing. No, I didn't. <laughs> Gee, it'd be good in to get into some deeper water. A lot of wind. Well, it was a pleasant paddle this morning. The trail was a nice short hike. It's too bad we couldn't have done more down there on that lake, but I forgot all about these limitations on portaging in, so it would have been an easy one to portage. Just following the track from yesterday out of here, so that was a clear track yesterday, so I'm hoping it's clear today. Nobody in the campground here on the corner going through the narrows here. They call it the Namakan Narrows. It's a little more cloudy this afternoon, or actually it's still morning, 11.30. So we'll just head down the channel. It's uh, probably a couple miles, I think give it a little gas so that we can maintain headway in this wind. I'm not sure what we're going to run into down there. I'm, I'm hoping that there'll be a, a place to stay for the night. We're right on the Canadian border. The left hand is Canada, the right hand is the United States. Quite a few bald eagles around. I'm seeing one right now off the bow. Decided not to put the other camera up because it 
flipped down on me. I hope it didn't go in the water. I thought I had it tightened down, but I guess not. There's a lot of leverage on those. And then this extra wind we have today is probably didn't help any. So I'll let you guys uh, see a little bit of the side. At least you're looking at the US side. Channel looks deep for the most part. Doing about six miles an hour, 2,500 RPM. A lot of wind. Yeah, it looks like we got a fishing boat in the middle of the channel. But he's moving out of the way, so we'll be okay. Well, folks, be ready for a hot chocolate when I get to where I'm going. Kind of pretty through here. Dramatic terrain. And we'll be entering Sandpoint Lake here shortly. That's the third in the uh, series of lakes at this uh, part of the park. Gusts of wind really pushing the boat. I don't see that. There's a should be a buoy here someplace, but I don't see it. Looks like we're deep enough. Well, I decided to stop. Wind was just, wind was beating me up and I decided to just stop, take a break. So we'll put out the gangplank because there's a lot of sand here. That's good enough. Can't completely eliminate all the sand, but we can try to get most of it. I might have to do an extension on the line on this side. The trees aren't very close. Yeah, I was taking a little water over the bow even to, wasn't worth it to keep trucking. All right, will this reach? Yeah, I think so. Yep. Can even go around a second time. That's a good thing. And we'll, yeah, I just decided it's not worth hacking, hacking through the wind like that. If I'd gone earlier in the morning, maybe it wouldn't have been so bad, but it's just too, too rough. Is there anything to tie to over here? This rock, you can use this rock or this log. The rock or the log, which one? Both. <laughs> 
think that'll hold it. Put it around the edge of that rock there. That'll help hold it. We're secure. Sandpoint Island East, they call it. I guess I'm not terribly disappointed, but it just uh, would have been nice to reach our destination. But all right, let's shut it down and take a break. There's supposed to have been another boat site, but I don't know where it is. Well, we only went 5.3. I was planning on about 11 miles. Should be leg seven, 5.3. It's right at noon. Oh, got to stop the other tracking. Forgot to do that. Stop that track. Yeah, I don't know where the, I went by it. Unless it's on the other side of this thing. I don't know. Okay, I need to stop the tracking on the satellite. Did that stop? Yeah, it looks like it, but I don't hear anything. It's kind of quiet. All right, let those guys charge and then we'll turn you off. Well, I could explain, I guess. Uh, my intention was to go down uh, a place called Grassy Cliffs to a boat site near there, but of course there's no guarantee there's a boat site open. And with this wind, what it is, I'm put, you know, the next uh, four or five miles here, I'd be pushing right into it. And then I'd be going downwind in some waves too, which isn't desirable. Uh, so instead I decided to just pull in here and take, cut it short for the day. Unfortunately, we're not gonna get much sun here because of the trees. That's a problem when you got a Southeast wind, we needed the protection of the island here. So uh, for the wind, which it's doing, it's very nice and quiet here in this cold. Otherwise, I'm not sure where the, is that a campsite over there? That looks like somebody's cabin, but I, there's a dock there, but I don't see the cabin, so I don't know. And there was supposed to be another boat site, but I missed it, I don't know where it was. There we go, folks. Uh, turn this step sounder off, we don't need that anymore. Satellite's been notified. All the tracking has been stopped. Well, good evening, folks, I'm trying to get this sorted out here and take some film of the campsite. I'll flip around here so you can see the boats, the boat tied up and our beach arrangement here. Kind of a little island off to the right of the boat here a little bit. We'll just walk up. Uh, on top of the hill here, I'm tied up as you can see right there. I wasn't sure if the if this was working or not because it made it, I dropped it. It uh, fell almost to hit the water this morning coming over. So I wasn't sure if it was working or not, but it seems to be. Here's the, uh, up on the hill, there's a fire ring. Whoever was here before left some firewood. I just split it all up today. They left it in a box, so I just, put it in the box. The only drawback here is right out in that area is a channel, normal boat channel. So a lot of traffic is coming through here. But it's a pretty sight, very open rock and stuff around. So it's really a, a beautiful sight, nice big pine. And there you can see down the lake and the wind that's kind of shaking things up this afternoon. That's the reason I stopped. I was going into that wind and with the speed of the boat and the wind, it was, you know, it wasn't unpleasant. It wasn't dangerous or anything. It just, I decided it just made no sense to keep going. I might as well just find a spot. And this is it. There is some firewood around. I, I'll have to maybe get a little more kindling because I don't have any much in the way of kindling. But I got plenty of firewood. And I'm debating whether to do the fire here or to take the wood with me and, and do it someplace else. So we'll see what the traffic's like this evening. If I can have a fire and have some peace and quiet here, then I may do that. The boat down in the trees. We'll walk down that way. You can hear the boats going by out there. That's two boats while I've just done this little walk. That unfortunately seems to be the case in this area. It's just uh, a lot of boat traffic because it's near the main channel going north-south from Sandpoint up to the Namakan Narrows. Not much I can do about it. 
one of the reasons I'm not sure I'll have a fire here. I may wait and do it in a little bit more peaceful place. I was sitting on the beach and reading a book earlier. That's why the chair is sitting there. And you can see it's called Sandpoint Island East, I guess. S16, no fires on the beach. I just finished dinner. I had uh, grilled chicken, salad, potatoes, and white wine. Uh, very good dinner, more than I really needed. Especially since I did a snack, I had a cheese and cracker, apples and nuts kind of boat lunch earlier to because I was just uh, hungry after making that hike this morning and doing some kayaking, hiking, and then uh, making it over here. I, I went about six miles just under uh, to get to this spot. I was planning though to go about 10 or 12 and we'll spend the evening and uh, relax a little bit. Uh, I'll have to get back to you on whether or not we have the fire tonight or not. Uh, that's still up in the air. Anyway, we'll talk to you tomorrow.